coffee in a to-go cup today. Why you ask? Because we're back to the Reno vlogs, y'all. Hailey and welcome back to my channel. Did I freak you out with the title? I know. The craziest thing is, is it's not even an exaggeration. You heard right. In today's vlog, we are actually gonna be renovating our kitchen. Again, I'm gonna take you guys back to renovation week three where we actually finally chose our slabs and we installed our countertops. But the person who fabricated our countertops, who was the one responsible for cutting and installing it, took our measurements wrong and basically cut the island stone, this stone, too small. So this stone right here does not actually fit our cabinets and it looks terrible. For the amount of money that we paid, we were so disappointed. We were constantly hearing promises that it was gonna be fixed and at this point, it's already been a couple of months and this is still our situation. But with situations like this, you could definitely feel bad and be bummed about it. It, like I was for a minute, but then I reminded myself that truly everything happens for a reason I wanted to have a positive outlook on this entire renovation experience and just be really happy with every decision that I've made in the kitchen That being said this countertop decision has not been great for multiple reasons The countertops that we chose are actually mainly a white and it's got some subtle gray veining in between With some points in the countertop having this like warm veining as you can see which I wanted to match our beige cabinets This countertop material is actually a quartz which is a man-made stone which our previous fabricator recommended because he's said it's like the toughest and apparently it just holds up the best. But there are two things that I wish, I wish somebody told me about quartz. The first being is that it shows and absorbs everything. I cook a lot, okay? And I'm a messy cooker. So sometimes when I'm cooking here in the back and I rest my spoon or something that has like tomato sauce on it, some kind of spice on it, if I rest it on the countertop, even for a couple of seconds, it leaves a stain in this counter. This material is also super prone to scratches, which I've noticed. Like any tiny little metal scratch or anything, there's no way to get rid of it unless you buff it down, but that ruins your countertop. So here's where we're at. A couple months later, we have a countertop that doesn't fit our cabinets. It's damaged and stained already. Plus, I'm also not obsessed with the look. I kind of regret going with white because my bottom cabinets are already white. It just feels like too white of a kitchen and I would love to have something with a bit more personality. All right, so that brings us here. Ellen and I basically made the decision that we are open to possibly swapping out or changing our countertops. I started looking into a couple showrooms in Miami and there was a specific one that caught my eye called Pantai. They have the most beautiful slabs, at least from what I see on Instagram. Instagram, I ended up reaching out to them telling them our whole situation and they're honestly so sweet They promised me that they're going to be able to deliver my dream Pinterest countertops Like whatever it is that I want they definitely have it in their showroom So I'm really excited to say that we're actually gonna be working with them today So I'm gonna take you guys along the showroom with me I'm gonna show you the whole process of like designing my new countertop because we're definitely doing something more exciting than what we've got right now And I just know I just know that by the end I'm gonna be one step closer to the kitchen of my dreams So this is definitely gonna be a fun one stick around and come with me as we renovate our kitchen again got a slight fall breeze so of course I'm gonna take the opportunity to pair my boots and cardigan with it although slight breeze in Florida is still kind of hot I'm also taking hubby with me because of course this is not a decision that I can make lightly is he happy about it well I guess we'll ask him I already see some slaps I'm so excited aren't you excited I think we're all done with this, got this all over again. <laughs> the rentals are never done, my love. But babe, I'm like overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. There's so many options. I know for sure, so we're not choosing that one for sure. <laughs> I thought coming to a huge warehouse like this would be overwhelming, but if anything, for someone like me, it's even more exciting because there's just so many options to go through. What I love about Pantai is that they actually label everything with color-coded stickers, which actually gives you information on what kind of stone it is, which makes the hunt so much easier. You can kind of go according to your budget and exactly what you're looking for. All the stones were so stunning and polished so beautifully. Off the bat, I knew that I really wanted a natural stone, something that has a lot more depth than something man-made. I'll say it again, they had a ton of options, indoor and outdoor. And after we did some browsing, I went ahead and tried to find Greg, which was the person that I was in touch with so he could give me some more information on what slab I was looking for. All right, guys, we are here with Greg from Pantai Granite. And yes. let me just say, he told me that we're gonna make your countertop dreams come true. Yes. And I'm so excited. Our company is Pantai Granite. We're located here in Miami. All these natural stones in our showroom are actually from Brazil. So the owner here of the company is actually Brazilian. Every week we get new material from Brazil. The only thing I was like kind of hesitant on like which kind of material I would want. I think I like the look of quartzite according yeah. to Pinterest. Quartzite is the strongest material you could put in but the kitchen. Not. It's the most durable for staining, scratching, chipping, and whatever you need. it's so pretty. It's yes. got so much depth to it, which is yes. what I love. I already know from Pinterest right over here. You guys can see a picture of like my inspiration. 
Um, it's called the Taj Mahal, right? Yes. I'm actually looking for beige, so if you could direct me to like a beige lot sure. or something like that, we yeah. could try to find it. Okay, let's do it. Guys, we took a little browse around. I think this is our selection because it's actually a thicker stone. This is a three centimeter. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have the guys bring in the forklift. We're gonna pull some slabs out. And we're gonna make sure she finds the perfect one that she likes. We. Oui. Yeah. He's still part of this. <laughs> I know he's behind the camera, but Ellen, you still have that a choice. Oui. outside today my hair is just not cooperating but it was all worth it because guys we've officially found our perfect perfect countertop like this is literally pulled straight out of my Pinterest board you guys here is our selection this right here is the Taj Mahal quartzite every time I came across this on Pinterest it was one that I saved because I love the elements of it it has so many beautiful neutral tones but it is one of the quartzites that lean more warm which is what I wanted because you know we have the beige we have the wood I feel like having a beige stone with warmer tones instead of gray is just gonna look so so, so, so stunning. Okay, next step is to go ahead and find a fabricator. Okay, so for our fabricator this time around, I knew already that there was no way in heck that I was gonna put this beautiful new stone in the hands of someone that messed it up the first time. And that's why I'm so happy that after I vlogged that whole experience the first time, I actually had a fabricator reach out to me. They're called Victor Stone and Granite. The person that I've been in touch with, her name is Maria. And she reached out to me saying, Haley, we saw your entire experience that first time around and we wanna show you how a job is supposed to be properly done. She sent me a couple videos of their past work and let me tell you what it is that I love about this fabricator they are not scared to do things that are unique and out of the box something that Maria suggested is to actually go ahead and extend the countertop up over here doing like a curved backsplash or even a backsplash shelf with the stone like this I think would look so freaking beautiful and somebody already came here to take all of the measurements so with the photos of the slab they're able to render it on a computer and show me what it's going to look like which is like the coolest thing ever I've never heard of that that way in the render we can kind of see that all the veins of the stones are going to match up in the waterfall and the backsplash so that it looks like one beautiful seamless piece moving on to the next part of the reno in my last vlog I mentioned to you how much I've been wanting a pot filler so badly and I'm excited to say we're getting it installed today all right guys we are about to go ahead and install the pot filler I'm so excited it was so hard to like mark off and figure out exactly where I want it because we don't actually have the pot filler yet it's going to be arriving tomorrow but we took the measurements and we're pretty confident with this the base is basically going to be here and then the spout should be about that high praying that it's not too high or low <laughs> all right they just left to go ahead and get the materials but guys the section is already opened up and honestly thankfully this is not such an expensive project for us because of the fact that the line is literally right there they're just running a pipe through the drywall which eventually will be covered by backsplash anyway but you've got to admit that this is still so freaking cool there is the pipes from for the water from the fridge and they're just going to connect the line all the way over here so that we can have easy access to water to have a nice little pot filler update i'm about to eat a muffin no i'm kidding serious update though guys we had our contractor come yesterday and patch up the wall i made a big mistake here's what the wall was looking like when everything was open as you can see it had like a straight line patch going all the way down to the access point of uh, where the fridge is but while my contractor was here i had to leave the house to film my thrift with me and i completely forgot to tell him to cover up this outlet hole right here the outlet actually used to be more to the left but because of the fact that we chose to do a design we needed to move the outlet more to the right so that we'd have enough space to widen the design towards the end so now i have a big hole in my countertop and i wasn't gonna hire somebody to come patch it up again so we're gonna do a diy fix-it project because i ordered a wall hole repair kit on amazon and apparently this makes it super super easy this thing costs like 14 bucks it's a piece of metal that is lined with this netted tape that when you peel off the backing you could just stick it on to where the hole is and then you can go in with your spackle and your compound to go and seal that hole up seems simple enough let's see if we can actually repair this hole on our own because we are handy women and there's a lot of things in this house that we can totally do ourselves girls <laughs> All right, you 
guys, it is the next day and I am so excited for today. We are officially moving on in the next step of the renovation, which is actually fabricating our countertops. You guys saw that yesterday, I actually went ahead and patched up that little hole that we had for the outlet. It's drying down slightly yellow, but that's okay because we're gonna paint over it later. But we have our little nozzle for the pot filler and oh, I, I just know that this is going to be such an amazing addition to the kitchen. That being said, now that our slabs are chosen, the next step, like I said, is fabricating the stone, which basically means we're gonna be taking it to an expert that's gonna be cutting the stone for us and then later coming in and installing it. When it comes down to the stone design, there's a lot of things that you wanna consider within a kitchen. Are you gonna have just a flat countertop? Do you wanna continue the stone along the wall, which is considered a backsplash? There's also options to do a waterfall. For example, right over here from the old countertop, we do have a waterfall, which basically means that the counter continues all the way down. I decided I really wanted to get creative with the countertop design. Now that we're redoing our stone, I'm able to see exactly where I would want to add stone that isn't already. For example, like I mentioned to you guys, above the hood range right now, we have a blank wall. A lot of people either do tile or like I said, they continue the backsplash up the wall. That is exactly what I wanted to do for this area because it has been the most frustrating thing ever whenever I'm cooking on here. Because this is a blank wall, the food constantly splatters and leaves a mess over here, which is obviously hard to clean. And I don't know how to explain it. I like to make a mess when I'm cooking. I don't want to be mindful about sauce getting in places because when I'm cooking, I like go into a trance, you know? So what I decided to do is bring up the countertop up here so that in the case something splashes or gets dirty, you could easily wipe it away because it's stone. But I've already mentioned this on Instagram. Instead of just doing like a straight square stone, what I think would look so beautiful is to integrate some kind of curvature design. I came across these photos on Pinterest and I think that they're absolutely beautiful. Like being able to customize something like this has been my dream. And I'm so excited that the fabricator we're gonna be working with is an expert when it comes to this kind of stuff. I've been in contact with her 24 seven about the ideas of the design. She helped me figure out exactly where we want the stone to start, what kind of curvature we wanna do. She even used her iPhone to template a design for me, which was just so amazing of her. After we got a couple template options, I went ahead to Instagram and I asked you guys which was your favorite. And the vast majority voted for the one that I like the most, which is this one right here. She actually spent all last night literally taking a piece of paper and tracing it so that we get the design perfect on the stone. So we've got some curvature and some arches and I actually asked her if we can go ahead and extend the stone out as much as possible to cover as much wall as possible. And then onto the next part. Just like I realized that the wall was getting so dirty and messy over there by the stove, I felt like I was having the same issue here by the sink. So right now, as you guys can see, we only have like caulking here, but they did not do a good job at all. Like that is getting so gross because of course I'm always washing dishes here. Things get dirty. Over time, this gets discolored. You can literally see splatters of food all the time. So I actually took inspiration from what I'm doing here and I decided to go ahead and do it here as well. We do have a little windowsill ledge, which I do love, but I thought it would be so amazing if we just continue the design all the way down so that it can join here. That's gonna be the best way to cover up that area. Plus, because the stone is beige, it'll be such a nice breakup with the white wall. But then I wanted to take it even a step further. Just like we have the elements of the curvature where the hood is, I really wanted to add it here in the sink area as well. When I told you guys that I had this idea, so many of you DM'd me on Instagram saying that Exo McKenna on YouTube did something so similar, which like, I'm not surprised. That girl is so freaking talented. But honestly, I thought I was like so creative with coming up with this idea only to realize that somebody else has already done it. But that's okay. We're gonna put our own spin on it. So we're gonna have the stone continue from the ledge all the way down to the bottom. And then off to the sides, instead of just having like a rough straight down square, I wanna continue that same curvature design along the sides as well. And then that way it will be such a nice soft finish and it will allow the stone to cover so much more of the wall in the sink area. And then finally, the last touch we are gonna do is do waterfalls on every corner. So right here, we already have one. I do wanna add waterfalls to the island, which was the original plan with the other countertops. But because they cut our stone too short, it was just not possible to do because I really do wanna cover up the beige over here and just continue it all the way down. And the good thing about doing it by the fridge is that continuing the waterfall down will actually hide some of the blackness of the fridge, which you guys know has been a bit of an eyesore for me. So that way you can only kind of see like the black up. This area is gonna be covered so much better. All right, well, that was a lot of talking, but I had to show you guys my ideas before heading in. So when we see the designs, you can visually understand what it is that I'm explaining. I am off to see Maria right now. She is just as excited as I am because my first time meeting her in person, even though I've been in touch with her for so long. So let's head on to do the countertop fabrication. Yay! 
guys, here are the slabs. They're so freaking stunning. I mean, obviously closer to the natural light, you could see what it would actually look like. You see right now how the veins are kind of like connected. That is called bookmarking. And we're actually gonna go right now and make sure that the design connects throughout the entire kitchen. Guys, I am here with Maria. Yeah. I'm so excited that I'm finally meeting this beautiful, gorgeous lady. She honestly has such an amazing creative mind when it comes to putting this together because I knew what I wanted, but I needed her help to kind of figure out exactly you know, where to put all the curves and all that kind of stuff, so. All right, guys, the first company we worked with did not have this kind of technology, which is probably why they messed up on our countertops, but oh my gosh, this was the coolest thing ever. They took photos of our countertop and together me and Maria kind of decided where we wanted all the veins to match up. It's actually so cool because I was able to choose what part of which slab I want in certain areas, whether I want it to be darker, less intense with the veins, more intense with the veins. Even when we got to like the accent pieces, like the backsplash, I knew that I wanted to do something a little bit more intense and eye-catching there. And then once we had the design all Already, we went to the real stone and she was able to show me exactly what part of the stone will be in which part of the kitchen She took me to the back where they show me how they do so much of their polishing by hand The cutting is done by a machine that you just program everything into the computer and somehow it just knows exactly where to cut everything to the perfect size Oh Wow guys, I have to say it was actually so insane to be able to see the behind the scenes of what actually goes on when it comes to like Fabricating countertops. They finished up with one of the slabs. They have three more to go It's definitely something that will take a little bit of time, but honestly their team is amazing. They work so quickly they Made it seem like it should be ready within one or two days to be installed so not much left to say i'm excited to see the final results and then i'll see you guys again on installation day happy installation day i am so excited you guys oh my gosh okay we're about an hour away from the fabricator coming by and installing everything they've cut everything she's given me some glimpses but i did not see the final product yet because right now they are currently working on the og lines og og i don't know how to pronounce it basically what it is it's this whenever you're doing like a curved or wavy pattern in a countertop you have an option for it to be like a regular finished edge or they can actually go and like hand carve this kind of edging which i love so much more it's rounded it's softer it has a lot more character too so that is what they are currently working on so my job right now is to go ahead and clear the countertops of everything i also still have dishes sitting in my sink from yesterday that i did not get to because sometimes you're just too tired you gotta you gotta leave it for tomorrow so gonna go into quick cleaning frenzy mode and get the countertops blank and ready for the new switch up. I can't wait! <laughs> ready if only my kitchen was this clean all the time but we're ready for them I had to change my clothes because it got so hot in the sweater but guys the island is out and it already looks so different oh man it's supposed to be back to when we didn't have any kind of pumps. i know right But let me give you a quick little 360 of the kitchen right now. And guys, I am so in love. Obviously, we got to move our fridge back into place after we clean up the floors. And we are not finished up with the sink area just yet. I never thought that just changing something like countertops can make such a big difference. The fact that we went with countertops that were not white were the best decision ever. I am so obsessed with this Taj Mahal stone, you guys. Big shout out to Pantai Granite because they had so many Taj Mahal options. I knew that I wanted something that had a different tones in it. So you have some of the dark grays, you have some beige some creamy neutrals too especially with the island right here you guys would never think that this is not just one piece it's actually two it is so hard to spot but we actually do have a seam line right over here that our fabricator actually book matched together to make the lines so seamless you see how the veins kind of continue even with the waterfall this just looks like one continuous piece because all of the veins are matching up moving on to the accent wall we used to feel like this was so awkward the fact that the cabinets were not 
touching the vent hood but with this new design i just feel like it flows so well takes up the perfect amount of space and makes the countertop transition so continuous instead of having the stone kind of finish off in a very sharp cut the victor stone and granite team actually went ahead and carved this hand carved this edge to give it more of a soft country feel and the pot filler the pot filler this is something that i've wanted forever and i honestly thought it would be such a luxury thing to add to my kitchen it actually only cost us 200 dollars for this installation which i actually think is really affordable for what you're getting you love the kitchen yeah how does it look so beautiful. what do you love the most back over here the back i know it turned out so nice right you want to see something really cool you know how mommy always likes to make soup and mac and cheese and stuff for Aaliyah? you ready yeah this bag is so cool. Today, they're actually spending on finishing up the edging for this area, which they're gonna install after Thanksgiving weekend. And I'm so excited to see it when it's like fully complete. You could already see that they have the ledge ready. All we need is the waterfall that will continue down with the curved edge on the side. And you guys, honestly, I just cannot say enough good things about my experience this time around. First of all, supplier like Pantai to find us a stone that was exactly what we were looking for in the material that we wanted with enough stock for a kitchen as big as ours. And then also putting it in the hands of a fabricator that will take care of our stone and actually get the proper measurements using the best technology. If you are looking to or in the process of doing any kind of stone work, whether it be for your bathroom or for your kitchen, definitely check out Pentag Granite as a showroom. You're going to have so many different options for stones and they have such fair prices compared to other places I've seen. And then once you choose a stone, connect with Maria and her team at Victor Stone and Granite. She will guide you through the entire process beginning to end to make sure your design comes to life exactly the way you want it. And it really just goes to show when you're doing renovations, if you have a good team, it's going to make your experience so much more enjoyable. I'm going to be sure to leave down below our fabricator and our supplier their instagram so you guys can check them out for yourself again if you're in the florida area you're gonna have an incredible experience if you decide to try them out but this is the point where i ask you guys for some suggestions the next thing i'm kind of thinking in my kitchen is my wooden shells i am keeping them they are not going anywhere but i do feel like their tones are maybe slightly too warm right now for the kitchen we do have more of like a taupey vibe going on so i wanted to ask you guys for your opinion looking at these shelves do you think that we should go ahead and stain them darker or keep them as is right now they have like such a beech wood look and I feel like they need to look richer and darker, but I'm not sure. Comment down below, help me out with making that decision. And something else I really need your advice on is if we should go even bolder and still install a backsplash alongside this. I still love these glaze tiles so much. And I've seen examples of some people who have a stone backsplash together with a tile backsplash and it looks really good. But I just don't know if I should do it in my kitchen or not because I have so much blank space that could use a backsplash, but I don't know if it would be too much. So setting you down right here, taking a look at my kitchen, do you feel like adding a tile backsplash to all of the white areas of the wall would enhance the kitchen or will it be like too much going on because on one hand they are neutral but on the other hand this is already such a statement piece truly i feel like a lot of you have a better eye for this stuff than even i do if you guys are watching up to this point you know that you're the real we love the ones who stick around all the way till the end if you are watching up to this point comment down below dreamy kitchen we are one step closer to making this forever home a truly forever place for us i love you all forever and always thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next one